Hi there, Blaze here and welcome in the tutorial where we go to implement health bar in Godot using the health system we created in the previous tutorials. You asked for this tutorial in the previous videos, but what you also ask is how to create objects that use heart boxes and hit boxes and don't kill themselves and I will show you how to do this in this video too. Okay, so I have my health bar texture imported. You can download uh, this asset from the link in the description. And now let's create a new scene of type control. Let's name it health bar. And let's uh, save this scene somewhere, uh, for example, in the UI folder as a health bar TSC. End. Okay, uh, let's change the type of this control. We want to use texture progress bar. There's also progress bar without the texture. And the difference between these two is that progress bar don't use a texture. It just fill the rectangle with specified color. But if you want to use a texture just like me, you should choose texture progress bar. Okay, if you look at the inspector, you will see that you have a textures category here and you have under, over and progress. And this will be used to texture our progress bar. But if you have entire atlas of the texture, you cannot just drag and drop it into the one of these textures. You need to create new atlas texture and then in the atlas you can assign this texture and next you will need to set our region and in my case the progress bar is 24 pixels height and for the over and progress textures you need to do the same so create atlas texture assign the texture and set regions if you now go to the range section and edit the value property you will see that this progress bar is working now to display this health bar on the screen, you need to add new component, canvas layer. Let's create this in the gameplay. Quick reminder that the gameplay is a mine scene, which is played when you click on the play button. So I add this canvas layer to the gameplay because this is our starting point. And let's name it UI canvas layer. Then drag and drop the health bar scene into this newly created canvas layer and set the anchor. So this will be displayed in the top right corner. You can also move this a little into the center so we will have a nicely looking margin and this is how it looks when run. Now let's open health bar scene, click with the right mouse button on the root of this scene and attach new script. Create a script named healthbar.gd and we can remove the content of this file without the extent on the top of. Okay but before we start if you use the health system I use, we need to change some things. Let's start with setting max health in player to five. Uh, so we will get um, a little more health at the beginning. Now let's add a new node of type hurtbox. Let's copy collision shape from hitbox and pass it here. As you can see, we have a collision shape added. And now we need to set the layers and the mask. As you can see in the hitbox we have layer first. So in the hard box we need to set mask to something other than one. Because if you set this to the one, you will kill yourself uh, when you play the game. Now when you play the game you see that the player is still alive so we don't uh, destroy ourselves. And we need to select health here in the hard box. Okay, still work. Now let's go to the enemy. We have hard box here. So we need to add a hit box also so we can deal damage to the player. Let's copy paste collision shape to D. And now we need to set the collisions. We need to set a collision layer to the same layer what we set to the player mask. So we set a mask to in hard box in the player and we need to set layer 2 in the enemy so the enemy will deal damage to the player so let's start with creating ready function max value equal sign we need to create a variable exported variable health of type health and this will be reference to the health uh, which we want to display in this health bar. 
Let's save this, but we need to change uh, the ready con the content of the ready function to pass. And if you go to the health bar, you will be able to select health. But as you can see, you don't see any health because health is the child of the player. So it is not accessible uh, from the top of uh, the gameplay scene. And the same for the enemy. But as you can see, health is the child of the root. So we can create a variable character of the type character body 2D because this type is used uh, in both player and enemy. And then we need to create a variable health of type health. Let's move this to on ready and we will assign the character that get note of the name health. But sometimes you can use another name than health. So we can get this also by the type and this is uh, probably safer. So we create another variable, but now instead of get note, we will use find child and we uh, find children, sorry, and we will uh, write asterisk in the pattern and as the type we will need to write health. Uh, at the beginning you need to get the first element from the array because find children and return the array but because we have only one element of type health we can use first element of uh, this array. Now let's back to the our max value equal sign and we will assign health that max health and the same for value health that health now when you go to the gameplay and select health bar you will be able to select the character and now if you play this game you will see that the progress bar is entirely filled because we have uh, health at max health so let's create a new function update bar and we will connect this function to the health changes signal in the health component so we need to add an argument we will not use a difference, so we can add the underscore at the beginning of the variable. Now to the value, we need to assign the health that get health or just health that health. This is the same. And in ready function, we need to write health that health changed, connect, and we will connect this update bar function to the health changed signal. Now when you click play and hit the enemies, you will see that the player is getting a damage and the health is decreasing. What's good about this uh, health bar? You can change character to the enemy and you will see the health of the enemy. Why? Because we use it character body 2D as the exported variable and we get a health from this character. And that is actually all. We have our health bar implemented. You can download the entire project from the link in the description.